these nodes are point SOC, which is basically is, is a interface to geometrical loop through all points. And what you have here and these expressions is a what you want to do in this loop with every component or with every part of this point array. And it's easily to read me input point dot x mean means uh, just to left the same position uh, of input point so or oh, doesn't change anything in this uh, geometrical array and you can see also here that uh, out of just working with default uh, attribute point position you can also create or add new attributes here for example color so after that you can see there is a new attribute is created here cd square parenthesis 4 which means uh, four dimensional vector containing the color da data was created code field output by four points for every of uh, polygons because the grid it has all polygons connected to the four vertices uh, in advance I want to say it's better not to use the debug inside of production ready tools because it's super slow but for development stage it's very usable because you can see what you actually actually working with okay like we said before after we know the amount of points we want to loop through all of these points or through all, all of these vertices uh, for that we're going to use another type of python array uh, python loop structure this loop looks like that for i which is a number increasing uh, every uh, iteration of loop in range so and range function returns the iterator so and range can be defined like one digit that's mean iterate from zero till this uh, number and uh, basically we have to repeat this three times and then uh, like with example with new points the new polygon will be created but all points have their position zero and we just have to set the new positions for every of points of uh, every of polygons and this point precisely we can optimize for that we have to write a custom function so I slowly increasing the complexity of our examples in order to create a new functions we are going to the start of the text dot and we define a new function like that we also use the div dev keyword then let's design the new and because we have already an array of all positions for the uh, extruded points we don't need to set this point position inside of this loop but on the end of the code we just use the set the same set primitive function for the front polygon so I just use set prim poly1 comma pose. So we filled. Let's now test how our rotation is working and what happens here. So we can rotate it one direction oh. so you can see that everything is working fine and if I rotate in opposite direction 
uh, polygon. This is a point zero, one, two, three, four. We call zero point as A always. Then we do like a virtual triangle. So we calculate the triangle area for point zero, one, and two. Then it's calculated before the loop starts. Then in, inside of the loop, we're going to create two additional calculation for triangle between 0, 2 and 3 and between 0, 3 and 4 and we will call this point as B and C and then this, this point as B and C so we offset these numbers in every stage of our loop it mean B is equal Prime one plus I this iterator here point B and C is equal prime two plus I point where first uh, vector is multiplied by uh, u by variable calculated here and second by that so in the end uh, it looks like the point position is a c the central point minus a vector p is equal Script of input zero points. Square parenthesis ID. And we ask for, for the uh, P attribute here. And then we append the results to the PTS array. So P s dot append p then after this loop is ready pts array should contain all position for all correct points and we just use our function set prim poly and use this PTS array and let's take a look for results so we just created the Delaunay triangulation algorithm based on our scattered points so let's make a 10 minute break and then we continue on this example to uh, so basically you can see that we have already created the extrusion on some distance threshold around this curve So if I switch back to the geometrical viewer, we can see the original geometry, the curve and extruded centers. But we have also to create the normals to make it look looking good. So n is equal poly dot normal. And we should also not forget to add the normal attribute to our geometry on the start. Script script op point attributes. Okay. 
Sweet. Ah, one moment. We should set up parameters. Create this mono top parameter. Then we should drag and drop this fit here. And after that, you can see that uh, that is the structure of a NumPy picture is a NumPy array. And basically, uh, this array is a complex array containing another arrays. So basically, it's like all uh, rows of picture interpreted as an array of chord of uh, RGB values. And on the end, you can see it has the type uh, float 32 bit. So clear. Then, in order to process it by OpenCV, we should extract only one uh, dimension of RGB to make it grayscale and convert it to the special type U integer 8 bit. So, this we can do. <coughs> using next thing img is equal to what intersect array contains bug intersect so now you can see uh, for all primitives it returns 0 or 1 corresponding to uh, if intersection found or not so that's actually what we need. Then we have to create the geometry. So I'm going to delete the box. We're going to create geometry. Poly equal script. Op append poly size so we're just recreating the polygons 